to see you there. Oh my god, it's been a minute. How y'all doing, man? We got a water f***ing delivery. F***ing rip, but it don't matter because it ain't gonna ever fall, so. You know, we totally didn't just throw in this water and plan this and try to make it funny by it f***ing falling out and just being stupid, but it don't matter. That never happened. Bro, what the f*** is going on? I'm gonna do a little softer. Going on, Snake Gang. Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? Since not since I posted, but since I've done something like this, which is just a strategy breakdown. A lot of comments, a lot of people begging for this, a lot of people talking shit in the comments. What the f is this channel becoming? Vlogs, all this bullshit. We want strategies, we want you to teach us, we want you to spoon feed us, wipe my ass, and pay my bills. I'm gonna give you guys a strategy. Take what you can from the strategy. Real strategy, make a lot of money from the strategy. But again, if you're a lazy hack of potatoes then there's not really much that's gonna happen for you yeah, it is what it is update on the house you take a look over here uh nothing has changed i do got this big ass horse picture though we got this white people shit painting here i haven't driven my lamborghini in a while yeah so before we get into the strategy i'm gonna drive the lamborghini because it's been a minute come on let's go for a ride so as you guys know in the last video we copped the lamborghini we got the i8 still probably never gonna drive that again in my entire life ever just because there's a lamborghini next to it i don't think i could ever get the courage to step in that thing when there's just this beautiful three hundred thousand dollar lamborghini sitting next to it but we're gonna actually go for a drive right now hopefully not get in trouble because everyone here's a fucking snitch fucking ridiculous bitches if i find out who does it they're gonna get it too it's all good I was on Instagram, they was wondering how I got this. So I was out with my Lamborghini, right? Fucking six guys come up to me. Six guys, huge, like UFC fighter type guys. 250 each in pounds. And they started trying to, try to rob me, right? Mind you, they had all kinds of weapons on them. One guy had a, uh, had a gun. He was shooting at me and shit. I was just fucking, I dare you. And then, you know what I'm saying? I just start beating everyone up. Moral of the story is if you see me in public, don't try me. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm about that life and shit. So this isn't going anywhere. Neither is a Lambo, so let's get in it. People are always telling people like, oh, it's so loud, it's too this. Literally, have someone tell me that I ran a stop sign, which I've literally never done in my life, ever, which is just stupid. This is ridiculous, bro. It's just these older fucking people never probably could afford a Lamborghini in their life, even though every single house here is worth like three million. So never bought a Lamborghini in their life because they were too fucking pussy to do it. When you drive a Lamborghini, everyone stares for one. But when you drive a Lamborghini and there's a camera on you, everyone really fucking stares. I actually do want to be careful because they really do keep snitching on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Psych! Ask me, bro. Whoever the f this thing is, I need to lower the volume on your car. Like, man, this is a three hundred thousand dollar car. What do you mean lower the volume? What the f is this a f***ing cell phone? Like, this isn't a TV. I can't just f lower the volume. So I was like, fuck that. I pay for this motherfucking house. This is my house. You guys don't like it. You fucking leave. That's what I f said. Word for f***ing word. All right, so now for the reason you clicked on this video, you want to learn the strategy, want to be successful, but I'm going to tell you something. You got to work hard. It's not going to be easy. Of course, this strategy itself is easy to learn. It's easy to use. However, if you can't get the mental part down, if you can't study, if you can't stay up late and work your ass off to really master this strategy, then none of it really matters. Stop sleeping so much. Stay up for London session. Stay up for New York session. Trade this and treat it like a real job. Treat it like this is going to pay you for the rest of your life, and then you'll start to see those results that you want to see, okay? One thing I do want to say make sure you follow my instagram at mombfx trading that is my only instagram i do not have another instagram okay I'm gonna be doing another hundred dollar giveaway on there so make sure you follow me there today because i do giveaways a lot i'm doing them a lot lately actually if you're ever interested in anything i offer i don't care if you go even click my site ever i'm just saying it just because i'm tired of scammers it's mombfxtrading.com that is my only website anything that i personally offer is on that website it's mombfx trading mombfxtrading.com, that's it. Do not click on no other website. Do not message nobody back on Telegram pretending to be me. No other Instagram, that is it. My Instagram and my website. Do not reach out to people on Telegram. I don't even have a Telegram username to reach out with. So stop falling for that bullshit. I'm tired of seeing it. I hate seeing you guys getting scammed. It's not me, guys. That is not me. I would think you guys would know because the 
in English usually is just terrible. Just want to put that out there real quick. I don't want to see people get scammed anymore. Instagram is MombaFX Trading. Website is MombaFXTrading.com. This is my YouTube channel. That's it. Those are the only three things that I ever use, okay? With that being said, this is a super scalper strategy for small accounts, okay? Have not done a strategy video in a cool minute. You guys have been asking for these like crazy. Tired of seeing vlogs. I get it. I get it. Whatever. So let's break down this strategy. If it does help, do me a huge favor, reach out to me on my Instagram, show me some screenshots, show me that it's working for you guys. Yeah, I love to see some results from you guys, all right? So let's go ahead and get to the strategy, and I hope you guys do enjoy. All right, guys, so I've not done a strategy like this in a minute. Kind of dope, because I love doing strategies, especially good, solid strategies, because you guys always send me videos, pictures on Instagram, all kinds of shit, and you're like, yo, like, thank you so much, working, and I just like seeing those results. I can see those withdrawals that kind of come from the strategy as well. So this is a very simple strategy, but just make sure you pay close attention because you do have to kind of acknowledge higher time frames a lot and make sure things are going your way in confluence with each other in all these different time frames. okay? First things first, for this strategy, we're only gonna be using GBP JPY. I know it sucks, I know it sounds crazy, but GBP JPY is the most respected pair, it respects you the most. Support resistances are very, very solid on here. They get respected, especially on the H4 and daily. So we're gonna make sure we only use the GBP JPY pair when we do this strategy, okay? London session, New York session is best, but it doesn't really matter. If there's a support resistance there, it's gonna most likely get respected when you use the strategy the proper way. So first things first, when, when we use the strategy, we need to set up two things, okay? That's just two simple moving averages, okay? Very, very easy to set up. You're gonna go to indicators. You're gonna go ahead and type in moving average, okay? And this is all done on TradingView as always, okay? Just type moving average and go ahead and put two of those on there. Once you have two moving averages on there, all you're gonna do is take one of them. You're gonna make it a 50 simple moving average. Go ahead and make it red. Depends on the screen, whatever you wanna do. I just make it red always. Make it red, the 50. 50 moving average, right? This is a basic moving average. Then you're gonna take another moving average and you're gonna go ahead and make this a eight, okay? I make it blue. Again, whatever you wanna do, but for me, it's an eight blue simple moving average, okay? That's it. You now have a eight and a 50 moving average on your screen. That's all we're gonna be using, okay? When it comes to this strategy, we're gonna be based upon higher time frame. I guess you could say higher time frame support resistances or price action, and then smaller time frame entries, okay? Same thing that I kind of showed you in the last strategy breakdown where I kind of used the moving averages, and uh, simple ones are a lot better, by the way but I use the moving averages and I use momentum. We're gonna be doing the same thing, but this time we're gonna be looking for crossovers on the five minute time frame, okay? But of course, we have to be in confluence on our higher time frame. Let's look at a, a decent example, okay? One thing I will tell you guys is that support resistance is not always gonna be what you think it is, okay? It's not always gonna look like, right, or this, okay? Sometimes you're gonna get a nice support that looks like this, okay? All it really is, it's just a buildup. When you have a buildup in a zone on an H4, a lot of times it's gonna get respected, okay? Same situation uh, right here. That's support because it's rejecting that zone multiple times. It doesn't look like one of those solid supports like this or you know where it crosses though, it comes back you know days later. It's just a buildup in the moment off a bunch of candles. It's, it's a buildup zone, it's support, okay? Keep that in mind with this strategy. So for example, right here, H4, we have a support buildup. Looking at GJ, we have a support buildup on H4. Looking at our daily, um, nothing's telling us that, you know, we, we're, we're selling, or there's nothing, you know, kind of telling us that, okay, we cannot buy here, is what I'm trying to say, okay? There's nothing that says we cannot take a buy here, it's very dangerous, there's nothing saying that, okay? So we check our daily to make sure that that's the case. Looking at our weekly, we actually may be coming to a support as well, which is good confluence, right? That's a good, good confluence. Don't use the hourly as much, but again, price is making that support. We see a buildup on the H4. We are now gonna go to our five minute and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a moving average crossover, okay? This is very simple, okay? Let me just explain this for you guys real quick. Anytime we see our 50 moving average cross over above, okay, look right here. It was under it, it crossed above our eight moving average. We're looking for sales, okay? Look at this, this push to the downside. So if this 50 moving average can come below our eight moving average, cross below here, and then start to swoop to the upside, just like I showed you guys in the last video, well, we're gonna be looking for buys. But now we're doing it on the five minute chart. Remember, this is only GJ, okay? You can try to back test this on other pairs. Will it work? It may. It may actually work very successfully, but me personally, GJ is my bitch, and uh, it's pretty much what I'm gonna be trading for the rest of my life. Anyways, H4, build up, five minutes. We wanna see price action go to the upside here. We wanna see price pretty much break through all of this. Wow, we have a moving average crossover. That would be a beautiful setup, and that's all we're gonna wait for, right? Still would like to see it break above a bit before we take a buy entry here. But, okay, right here, we start to break above. 
We just need to get some bullish candles just like that. Okay, there we have our trade. Why do we take this trade here and not here? Because we're still kind of coming down here. We haven't shown a bullish move. We haven't seen bullish candles going to the upside yet, but now we have. This is a very big engulfing candle. So we're gonna go ahead and take our buy position right here. Okay, we're gonna put our stops below that previous support line, okay, 17 pips, and we're gonna target a one-to-one -one ratio. There is our setup right there. Very beautiful setup because guess what? Not only did we have a moving average crossover that I spoke about, but what are our moving averages doing here, guys? And this is very important to pay attention to. Look at our moving averages. They're coming down and they're swooping, okay? So let's go ahead and draw here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. They're kind of coming down here and they're starting to turn up. Once they start to turn up, most of the time, this momentum is gonna pull all the way to the upside, okay, because they're curving. When they start to curve like that, you guys remember my last video, they start to pull or push down on candles, okay? H4 build up, broke it down to our five minute rank. This is a super scalper strategy. Five minute, and now look, we have that moving average crossover, we have the moving averages coming below. Now we have momentum pushing to the upside while on a support on a higher time frame. Lots of confluence, right? So now we'll let this play out, and as you can see, look at this beautiful moving average crossover. It crossed over, we got the momentum pushing from our moving averages, okay? And this is just a simple one-to-one. -one. We can actually, if you wanna really get technical and break this down, we could've went to our H4, and we could've targeted some type of zone, maybe this zone or this zone, and then actually went for you know one to six or something, whatever the case may be, this is huge, right? Because I wanna show you guys a really simple strategy, a simple scalping strategy, that you guys can put your own twists on. This is how we're gonna do it, a simple one-to-one. -one. Wow, uh, our stops are below a major support zone or major resistance zone. Another example, and I can't show you, unfortunately, I can't show you guys a lot of examples. You don't really need them, but I can't show you a lot of examples because when you're in replay mode, you can't go to the five minute if you're too far back. Stupid, don't know why it's like that, but that's just how it is, okay? Again, right here we have a double top, right? Double top is formed. If we go ahead and put this in replay mode here, we have that double top formed, right? So now what, what are we gonna do here, okay? We're gonna check our daily, daily showing rejections, check our weekly. No reason here for us to be scared to sell, right? There's no reason for us to be scared to sell here because it's just kind of floating there, okay? But H4 is gonna be our main time frame. H4, we see that build up, we see that double top. We now can say price most likely will fall here, but we will not be taking this trade with a one-to-one -one until we check our five minute and we wait for that moving average crossover, okay? So let's go ahead and wait. Okay, so we have a bearish candle that broke below our moving averages. Could we have taken a sell position here? Absolutely, we could have taken a short position here, but you know, let's be safe and let's wait for our moving average crossover to occur. And boom, right here we do have a moving average crossover. Nice candle to the downside. We easily could have taken our short position here as well. With again, remember guys, we're gonna have our stops above that previous resistance. And we're just gonna target a one-to-one -one for now. Obviously, if we really wanna get down to it, we can go to the H4, we can find better targets. But let's go and just do a one-to-one -one ratio here and see how this plays out. And boom, take profit was smashed for 16 pips, okay? You're gonna be catching a lot of 15 to 20 pip trades, sometimes more depending on how high that uh, that stop loss has to be to kind of adjust to the, the previous high. But as you can see, had the crossover, price was trading below our moving averages, and then we tanked. Simple as that. It's not rocket science, guys, it's very simple, but you always have to check your higher time frames, make sure there's not a reason to actually buy, and also make sure, and you can see we could have easily targeted that support, as I said, or this support, and we could have caught way more pips. However, doing it simply. Imagine if you would have done the same stop loss and held this position until you hit that take profit, or you hit that, that next support zone, okay? This would have been a nice one to four ratio, almost one to five ratio. It's very nice, guys, or even if you targeted the next one. Guys, this is a one to almost eight, okay? Ridiculous trades that you can actually catch using this. However, like I said, we're keeping it simple. We're doing a one-to-one. -one. So now you guys have an example of each. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more example and kind of talk about it a little more, and then we will be all set, okay? Okay, we have a support zone. So when this support was first made, what would we have done, right? We would've went to our five minute, would've waited for our moving average crossover. Boom, we got our moving average crossover. Took our long position on that moving average crossover. Stops below. Okay, so here in this example, we have a 44, 45 pip stop. Do a simple one-to-one -one and see how price plays out, okay? Oh, no, no, I rewind it. Oops, we're good, we're good. Oh, my God, okay. I don't know why I just skipped like that, but okay. And boom, as you can see, take profit was smashed. So here's one thing I do wanna to mention to you guys. 
If price does come below our moving averages, do we get out? No, we're still gonna hold this trade because we're gonna rely on that support or that resistance to pretty much be our last resort, right? If that gets broken, okay, then we do wanna get out, right? But however, most of the time, you're, you're looking at higher time frames, you're making sure everything's in confluence with each other. This five minute you know, crossover is gonna be very accurate. But because we are on a five minute, you're gonna see it break below and above a lot just because you know sometimes it's gonna consolidate, it's gonna take a minute for that support to be respected. But all this time frame, you know, this, this five minute entry is doing, it's catching you really quick scalp trades. But not only that, it's helping you get a perfect entry from something that's happening on higher time frames. Because remember, guys, higher time frames are key. That's where you want to find everything. That's where you want to find your support. That's where you want to find your resistances. That's where you want to find that you're in a channel or, or things like that. Okay, I'm not talking about channels here, but if you do see a channel, you're gonna apply the same strategy. You're gonna see it touch the bottom of the channel. Now you go to your five. Now you go to your five minute and you look for that buy signal. Okay, it's very very simple, guys. But all this is really doing is is you're just you're being patient. You're not entering. Remember, guys, if this res if this support wasn't gonna get respected, let's say price kind of broke here and then it started to fall, most likely. You're not gonna get in this trade and, and get stopped out because you waited until the moving averages came into play. A lot of the times when supports get broken, they happen right away, which means you never would've got it in for a buy because your five minute never came out and showed you it was a buy, okay? You see what I'm saying? Kind of complicated, but what I'm trying to say is this is gonna save your ass a lot, okay? A lot of supports are gonna be respected and you're gonna catch all of those. And then when supports are not respected, most likely what I'm trying to say is, is those moving averages would not have crossed over because price would have kept falling here, okay? If you don't get what I'm saying, I mean, you're gonna have to kind of do this yourself, play around with it and see what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the best way to explain why we're waiting for smaller entry or smaller time frame entries, okay? It's just gonna save your ass a lot. I think that's it, I don't, really, I don't need to show too much, honestly. With that being said, TradingView will not let me go back any further to show you guys any more trades because once you go to the five minute in replay mode, too far back, it doesn't have enough data to show you apparently. Trading view, you're garbage. You're charging people all this money and you can't collect enough data. It is what it is, um, bitch ass company. So remember guys, H4, support resistance. Daily and weekly, is there a reason to not get in this trade? No? Okay, then I'm gonna go to my 15 or my five. Remember, if you wanna get a super scalp, you're gonna go to the five. You're gonna wait for that moving average crossover, see if we're trading below or below, below or above our moving averages, and then you're gonna have a one-to-one -one ratio using your stop loss above or below that support resistance line, depending on where you are. Now, because you're doing one-to-ones, success rate's gonna be high. You guys gotta remember something. You gotta remember something, guys. Anytime you take a one-to-one -one trade in Forex, what do you have? You have a 50-50 shot, a 50% chance of winning, no matter what. That's before you put a strategy in there. One-to-one -one always means 50-50. You have a 50-50 shot. You're either gonna win or you're gonna lose. The market can only go up or down. No matter what, you put a sell in 50-50, put a buy in 50-50. It's a 50-50 shot, it's a one-to-one, -one, okay? We're trading one-to-ones, right? Let me tell you guys something. This is a one-to-one -one with a really good strategy, support resistance, moving average crossovers, momentum all added in. So you really think it's still gonna be a 50-50? No. Your 50-50 has now gone up to more like 75% or above, it just depends on, you know, your, your knowledge and your experience with the markets, of course, and what you, you, what you know, but once you put a successful strategy into play with a one-to-one, -one, your chances are getting a lot higher of you being successful because it's already a 50-50 shot. You already have a 50-50 shot, but now you're using a successful strategy. Bro, that 50-50 has gone up, trust me. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. I have a special video coming out for my 100K special. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I don't want you guys to miss that video. It's gonna be very motivating and it's gonna be huge. So don't miss that video. Hit the subscribe button. Follow my Instagram, it's all down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Don't tell me how I'm feeling when you really don't know. Still be my little shoddy at all of my shows. Yeah, I bust a couple shots if you fuck up my bro. And now you're thinking that you're wrong, cause you know what I don't. I started at the bottom and you used to be here. Now you're seeing that I'm up and you say it's not fair. You wanted me back, but I really don't.